Got the shirt on you, winch. Fuck yeah. Yeah, fuck it. I love you. Surely you'll never betray me and take all my money. Not like that dreaded woman I live with. Jesus! What the fuck was that for? Don't you play dumb with me, you fat pig. How many times have I told you not to forget to flush? It's like Chocolate City in that damn toilet! I forgot, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't remember to do something so primitive such as flushing the toilet. Maybe if I didn't have to remember all the damn bills I gotta pay in this house, I'd remember to flush. And oh, by the way, how's that novel of yours coming along? Did you finish all your thank yous yet? Maybe we can actually start the damn book. You bastard. I like to take my time with my writing. I'm a conceptual artist! It's been two years, Sophia! Either write the novel or you don't! Well, at least I have you. Move over! What do you mean move over? You're in my personal space. That's because you practically have your own gravitational pull, fat ass. You, your ass has its own congressman, and your balls are practically a peninsula. Oh, ha ha, how mature. Now that we've gotten whatever's out of our systems, we can now begin. Francis, Sophia, my name is Dr. Roth, and I'll be your court appointed relationship counselor. Now tell me, how are you both feeling today? I'm alive at the moment. Sadly, that's all I can say right now. Yeah, a couple more cheeseburgers and we'll see about that. Must you always go for a low blow? Beats me. When's the last time you even seen your penis? Okay. Okay. Looks like I've got my work cut out for me, but there's nothing a little conversation and consideration can't fix. Why don't you two of you tell me what brought you here? Gladly. Oh, boy. Shut up. So it's our anniversary, which also happens to be the only time I can get Dumbo over here to take me anywhere special. So in all of his infinite glory, you know where he decides to take me? Denny's. Can you believe that? Denny's. He decides to take his wife to Denny's on their anniversary. Isn't it the thought that counts? Thank you. Oh, please. This is America. Nobody abides by that sentimental crap. So anyways, we're at Denny's. And Mr. Cheapskate over here makes us order from the dollar menu. So he orders a platter of nachos and tacos. Well, I'm stuck with a salad because somebody has to live to spend their retirement check. Yeah, that's what you'd like, huh? Spoils you all my money. Let her finish, Francis. Oh, 
So while I'm watching him gorge his face, I stop and think to myself, boy, those nachos sure look good. So I reach over and grab a few. Without asking, may I add? And what does this guy do? He throws a temper tantrum and throws our plates to the wall. Yep, I did the right thing. And then to make matters worse, you know what else he does? He puts the poor bus boy in a chokehold after he asks us to leave. The boy had it coming. I mean, the boy expects me to pay for both the dinner and the plates. Keep in mind, this was a dinner that I never got to fully enjoy. So, you to come here, spend 90 days on a slammer. Maybe the slammer would have done you some good. Help you slim down a bit. Well, whatever brings you here, right? So, tell me, what do, do the two of you do for a living? Well, unfortunately, at the moment, I'm the sole breadwinner. Because somebody here decided to quit her job to print a novel that would never see the light of day. What have I told you about attacking my novel? If you loved me, you would have supported my artistic renaissance. You never write, all right? You never write. The point of being a writer is to write. But no, you don't. I would respect you at least if you went to Starbucks every once in a while, like every other douchebag to brag about your writing, but you don't. Your notebooks just keep gathering dust. At least I don't cry after sex. <gasps> I am a passionate man. Now hold on. Let's slow down, okay? Let's all take deep breaths. Sex is a release, all right? It's an emotional release. Any man would need to cry a couple minutes after parking you. I mean, come on. Look in the mirror lately. Oh, wait. Can't. You jerk! You swore you'd never tell anybody about that! Wait, wait, wait. I'm a little confused. What's the problem with mirrors? Oh, yeah. She's a vampire. Go ahead, show me fame, sweet. Oh, Lord have mercy. Every day I wake up with disbelief that I married a vampire. She is currently 565 years old. I'm not even her first husband. This bitch is going to outlive me by at least a couple centuries. Yeah, don't act like you're any better than me. At least I'm not a government assassin. At least I don't kill for money. I'm sorry, but somebody has to bring home the bacon. Hey, great, you lit my secret up. Now I gotta kill the therapist. Wait, wait, wait. Kill who? Why don't we all take a break? Well, you told him my secret. You know, I can't have people know what I do for a living. Guess you're right about something for once. Mm. Wanna bump uglies on top of his body? Sure. <laughs> <laughs>